Ever wondered how the celestial bodies in our galaxy influence our daily life? It's an intriguing concept, isn't it? Astrology, an ancient study that connects us to the cosmos, holds the answers. This week, we'll be diving deep into the celestial dance of the planets, watching as they move, connect, and interact, each movement resonating with our lives in myriad ways. From the optimism-sparking semi-sextile of the Sun and Jupiter, to the strength-inducing conjunction of Mars and Saturn, we'll explore how these cosmic events might color our week. Stay with us to unlock the secrets of the stars for the week ahead. Astrology is all about the movement of planets and their influence on our lives. Let's dive into the planetary movements happening in the week of April 8 to 14, 2024. First off, we have a semi-sextile aspect between the Sun and Jupiter. In astrology, semi-sextile aspects denote opportunities and potential for growth. When the Sun, representing our core self, and Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, come into this relationship, it's like a cosmic high five. It brings a wave of optimism and good luck. So expect a boost in your confidence and a brighter outlook on life. Next, we have a solar eclipse. In astrology, solar eclipses are known to be turning points. They tend to bring about significant changes and opportunities. However, this particular solar eclipse may bring a sense of laziness, but also emotional depth and leadership qualities. It's a time to go within, to reflect and understand your emotions. It's also a period where you might find yourself taking the lead, showing others the way. Then the moon, our emotional compass, will transit into Taurus and then Gemini. When the moon is in Taurus, emotions stabilize and there's a greater need for security and comfort. But when it shifts into Gemini, expect a surge in curiosity and a desire for variety. Communication may also become a focal point during this period. We also have a powerful conjunction between Mars and Saturn. Mars, the planet of action and desire, meets Saturn, the planet of discipline and structure. This conjunction provides strength and endurance, especially for completing tasks. It's like a cosmic energy drink that will help you power through any challenges. Lastly, we have a conjunction between the Sun and Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde periods are infamous for causing miscommunication and delays, but when it conjuncts the Sun, it places a focus on communication and short distance travel. It's a period to slow down, review, and revise. But fret not, Mercury retrograde semi-sextile aspects with Uranus and Jupiter are here to save the day. These aspects will bring innovative thinking and positive planning skills. It's a time to think outside the box and plan for the future with optimism. Now that we know what's happening in the cosmos, let's see how these movements will affect us. With the stage set in the cosmos, how will it play out for us here on Earth? Let's dive into the week of April 8th through the 14th, 2024, and see how the celestial ballet above influences our lives down here. This week kicks off with the Sun and Jupiter waltzing in a semi-sextile aspect. This cosmic alignment brings with it a wave of optimism, good luck, and opportunities for growth. It's as if the universe is giving us a nudge, a gentle push to step out of our comfort zones and explore the possibilities that lie just beyond our reach. So dust off those dreams and aspirations you've been stowing away, because this week could be the perfect time to set them in motion. But wait, there's more. The solar eclipse on April 2024 may bring a sense of laziness but also emotional depth and leadership qualities. It's like a cosmic paradox, isn't it? On one hand, we might feel a pull towards the couch, an invitation to indulge in some well-deserved rest. On the other hand, we may discover a wellspring of emotional depth within us and a renewed sense of leadership. So while you're there, nestled in your comfort zone, don't forget to tap into these deeper aspects of yourself. Now let's talk about the moon, this week it will enter Taurus and then Gemini, influencing our emotions and the way we communicate. When the moon is in Taurus, we might feel more grounded, more in touch with our senses. We may find comfort in the simple pleasures of life, like a warm cup of tea, a soft blanket, or a good book. As the moon moves into Gemini, our communication skills may get a boost. Conversations could flow more easily, ideas might spark more quickly, and we may find ourselves more curious about the world around us. However, it's not all smooth sailing. A conjunction between Mars and Saturn from April 6th to the 14th will provide strength and endurance for completing tasks. But this cosmic coupling can also bring challenges. Mars, the planet of action, pairs up with Saturn, the planet of discipline, creating a dynamic that demands perseverance. Tasks might feel more laborious, goals may seem more distant, but remember, this is a time for growth. Embrace the challenge, harness the energy, 
and you'll find that you can achieve more than you thought possible. Towards the end of the week, a conjunction between the Sun and Mercury retrograde will focus on communication and short distance travel. However, with Mercury in retrograde, expect the unexpected. Miscommunications may occur, plans might go astray, and travel could be delayed. But don't despair. Mercury retrogrades semi-sextile aspects with Uranus and Jupiter will bring innovative thinking and positive planning skills from April 8th to 15th. So even when things seem chaotic, remember every cloud has a silver lining. The stars have spoken and now we know what to expect in the coming week. Take these cosmic cues and navigate your week with grace and resilience. Remember the stars may guide us, but it's up to us to chart our own course. Here's to a week filled with growth, discovery, and cosmic wisdom. Remember, the cosmos has a different story to tell each week. The planets in our solar system are constantly in motion and their movements hold a profound influence on our lives. Each week, these celestial bodies align in unique ways, bringing about new opportunities, challenges, and insights. To stay attuned to these cosmic rhythms, we invite you to check out the weekly horoscopes posted right here on our channel. Each forecast is carefully crafted, taking into account the latest planetary movements and astrological aspects. Whether you're a Leo seeking guidance, a Gemini curious about the week ahead, or a Scorpio looking for answers, our weekly horoscopes serve as your personal guide to the cosmic tides. Your thoughts and experiences matter to us. We invite you to share your reflections in the comments section below. How has your week been? Have you noticed the influence of the planets in your life? Your insights not only enrich our community, but also deepen our collective understanding of astrology. If you found value in this video, do give it a thumbs up. Your likes help us reach more astrology enthusiasts like you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll get instant access to our latest astrological insights and forecasts. Remember, astrology is not just about predicting the future. It's about understanding ourselves better and making the most of the cosmic energy around us. So, let's explore the cosmos together. Join us again next week as we continue to navigate the cosmic tides. Until then, may the stars guide your path. Let's dive into the cosmic tides for Aries this week. Aries, the fiery first sign in the zodiac, your ruling planet Mars is making some significant moves this week. As Mars transitions into the sign of Leo, you can expect a boost in confidence and a renewed sense of vitality. Your pioneering spirit will be at the forefront, guiding you to take bold steps towards your goals. Now let's draw your tarot card for the week. Ah, we have the Emperor. This card is a powerful symbol of authority, leadership, and power. Attributes that Aries often embodies. The Emperor's presence in your reading suggests that this is an excellent week for you to take charge of your life. It's a time to assert your will, make decisions, and set clear boundaries. Remember, as an Aries, you are a natural-born leader, and the universe is encouraging you to step into this role more fully. On the career front, Mars in Leo may bring some exciting opportunities your way. Be open to taking risks and expressing your creative ideas. In matters of the heart, this planetary movement can fuel your romantic passions. Be bold, Aries, but also remember to respect the feelings and boundaries of others. That's all for Aries, stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now let's turn our cosmic compass towards Taurus, the second sign in the zodiac, known for its grounded nature and love for comfort. Taurus, your ruling planet Venus, is making a significant transition this week. As Venus moves into the nurturing sign of Cancer, your focus is likely to shift towards home and family. This planetary movement encourages you to cultivate a sense of safety and security, and you may find yourself cherishing the familiar and seeking comfort in your surroundings. Now let's draw your tarot card for the week. Interesting, we have the Hierophant. This card is a symbol of tradition, values, and stability, qualities that a Taurus often holds dear. The Hierophant's presence in your reading suggests that this week, you may find comfort in the familiar, and you are likely to seek stability in your relationships. As a Taurus, you value reliability, and this week, the universe is encouraging you to lean into this trait. On the career front, Venus in Cancer may bring opportunities that allow you to express your nurturing side, perhaps through teamwork or collaborative projects. In matters of the heart, this planetary movement encourages you to nurture your relationships and seek emotional security. Be steadfast, Taurus, and remember that your strength lies in your stability and dependability. That's all for Taurus. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Moving on to Gemini, the third sign in the zodiac, renowned for its intellectual curiosity and adaptability. 
Gemini, your ruling planet Mercury is transitioning into your own sign this week, promising an exciting period of enhanced communication and intellectual pursuits. This planetary movement encourages you to express your thoughts and ideas with clarity and confidence. Now let's reveal your tarot card for the week. Fascinating, we have the lovers. This card signifies relationships and choices. It suggests that this week, you may be faced with important decisions that could have a significant impact on your relationships or personal life. The presence of the lovers in your reading also indicates an opportunity for personal growth. As a Gemini, you are naturally adaptable. And this week, the universe is encouraging you to embrace change and navigate through these decisions with your signature intellectual prowess. On the career front, Mercury and Gemini could bring opportunities that allow you to utilize your communication skills, perhaps in negotiations or presentations. In matters of the heart, this planetary movement encourages you to communicate your feelings and maintain balance in your relationships. Stay curious, Gemini, and remember that your strength lies in your adaptability and intellectual agility. That's all for Gemini. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Next up is Cancer, the fourth sign in the zodiac, known for its emotional depth and intuitive nature. Cancer, your ruling planet, the moon, is transitioning into your sign this week, paving the way for a period of heightened emotions and intuition. This celestial movement invites you to dive deeper into your feelings and trust your instincts. Now let's see what the tarot has in store for you this week. Interesting, we have the chariot. This card represents determination, control, and victory. It suggests that this week, you may find yourself facing challenges that require a strong will and determination. As a Cancer, you are naturally intuitive, and this week, the universe is encouraging you to trust your intuition and steer your life in the direction you desire. On the career front, the moon in Cancer could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your emotional intelligence, perhaps in roles that require empathy and understanding. In matters of the heart, this lunar transition encourages you to express your feelings and maintain harmony in your relationships. Remember, Cancer, your strength lies in your emotional intelligence and intuitive nature. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. That's all for Cancer. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now, let's turn our cosmic compass towards Leo, the fifth sign in the zodiac, known for its fiery passion and leadership. Leo, your ruling planet, the Sun, is transitioning into your sign this week, promising a period of enhanced vitality and confidence. This celestial movement invites you to shine brightly and take the lead in all areas of your life. Now let's unveil what the tarot has in store for you this week. Fascinating, we have the Strength card. This card represents courage, patience, and control. It suggests that this week you may find yourself in situations that require your leadership and courage. As a Leo, you are naturally confident, and this week, the universe is encouraging you to trust your instincts and take charge. On the career front, the Sun in Leo could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your leadership skills, perhaps in roles that require strategic planning and decision-making. In matters of the heart, this solar transition encourages you to express your feelings boldly and maintain balance in your relationships. Remember, Leo, your strength lies in your courage and leadership. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's challenges with determination and grace. That's all for Leo. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now, let's turn our cosmic compass towards Virgo, the sixth sign in the zodiac, known for its analytical mind and meticulous nature. Virgo, your ruling planet Mercury, is transitioning into your sign this week, promising a period of enhanced analytical skills and attention to detail. This celestial movement invites you to embrace your analytical nature and pay attention to the finer details in all areas of your life. Now let's see what the tarot has in store for you this week. Interesting, we have the Hermit card. This card represents introspection, solitude, and wisdom. It suggests that this week, you may find yourself needing some alone time for reflection and self-discovery. As a Virgo, you are naturally introspective, and this week, the universe is encouraging you to seek wisdom in solitude. On the career front, Mercury and Virgo could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your analytical skills, perhaps in roles that require problem solving and meticulous planning. In matters of the heart, this planetary transition encourages you to be patient and take time to understand your feelings and the feelings of others. Remember Virgo, your strength lies in your analytical mind and ability to find solutions. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's puzzles with wisdom and grace. That's all for Virgo. 
Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Let's now turn our cosmic compass towards Libra, the seventh sign in the zodiac known for its love of balance and harmony. Libra, your ruling planet Venus, is transitioning into your sign this week, promising a period of enhanced harmony and balance, particularly in your relationships. This celestial movement invites you to embrace your natural inclination towards peace and balance, and to seek harmony in all areas of your life. Now, let's see what the tarot has in store for you this week. Fascinating. We have the Justice card. This card represents balance, fairness, and truth. It suggests that this week you may find yourself in situations where you need to make balanced decisions, seek fairness, and uphold the truth. As a Libra, you are naturally inclined towards justice, and this week, the universe is encouraging you to uphold this virtue. On the career front, Venus and Libra could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your diplomatic skills, perhaps in roles that require negotiation and peacemaking. In matters of the heart, this planetary transition encourages you to seek balance and harmony in your relationships and to uphold fairness and truth in all your dealings. Remember Libra, your strength lies in your ability to create harmony and balance. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's challenges with diplomacy and grace. That's all for Libra. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now let's delve into the cosmic tides for Scorpio, the eighth sign in the zodiac, known for its intensity and passion. Scorpio, your traditional ruler Mars, is transitioning into Leo this week, promising a surge of passion and determination. This celestial movement invites you to channel your inner strength and intensity and use it to conquer any challenges that come your way. Now let's see what the tarot has in store for you this week. Interesting, we have the death card. Don't be alarmed, Scorpio. This card symbolizes transformation, endings, and new beginnings. It suggests that this week, you may find yourself in situations where you need to embrace change and personal growth. On the career front, Mars and Leo could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your intensity and passion, perhaps in roles that require leadership and courage. In matters of the heart, this planetary transition encourages you to embrace transformation and change and to trust in the power of new beginnings. Remember, Scorpio, your strength lies in your ability to transform and renew. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's challenges with intensity and passion. That's all for Scorpio. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now let's turn our cosmic compass towards Sagittarius, the ninth sign in the zodiac, known for its love for adventure and philosophical mind. Sagittarius, your ruling planet Jupiter, is transitioning into Pisces this week. This celestial shift promises enhanced intuition and spiritual growth, inviting you to tap into your inner wisdom and heightened spiritual awareness. Now let's see what the tarot has in store for you this week. Fascinating, we have the Temperance card. This card symbolizes balance, patience, and moderation. It suggests that this week you may find yourself in situations where balance and patience are key. On the career front, Jupiter in Pisces could bring about opportunities that allow you to utilize your adventurous spirit and philosophical mind, perhaps in roles that require adaptability and strategic thinking. In matters of the heart, this planetary transition encourages you to seek balance in your relationships and to exercise patience. Remember, Sagittarius, your strength lies in your ability to adapt and to see life as a grand adventure. Stay strong and trust in your ability to navigate through life's challenges with optimism and courage. That's all for Sagittarius. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now, let's turn our cosmic compass towards Capricorn, the 10th sign in the zodiac, known for its discipline and practicality. Capricorn, your ruling planet, Saturn, is transitioning into Aquarius this week. This celestial shift brings a new level of discipline and focus towards social causes and humanitarian efforts. It's a time to use your practicality to make a difference. Now, let's see what the tarot has in store for you. We have drawn the Devil card. This card symbolizes temptation and materialism, reminding you to stay grounded and focused in the face of distractions. On the career front, Saturn in Aquarius could bring about opportunities that require your discipline and practicality, perhaps in roles where you can drive social change. In matters of the heart, this planetary transition encourages you to stay grounded and realistic in your relationships, while still nurturing your emotional connections. Remember Capricorn, your strength lies in your ability to stay disciplined and practical in all situations. Stay strong and trust in your ability to make a difference. That's all for Capricorn. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now, let's turn our cosmic compass towards Aquarius, the 11th sign in the zodiac, 
known for its innovative mind and humanitarian spirit. Aquarius, the planet Saturn is entering your sign this week, bringing a new level of discipline and focus towards social causes and humanitarian efforts. It's a time to channel your innovative thinking into making a positive impact. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. We have drawn the star card. This card symbolizes hope, faith, and rejuvenation, reminding you to stay hopeful and inspired during this transition. On the career front, Saturn in Aquarius could bring opportunities that require your innovative thinking and commitment to humanitarian efforts. It's a time to shine, Aquarius. In matters of the heart, the star card encourages you to stay hopeful and inspired, nurturing your relationships with optimism and faith. Remember, Aquarius, your strength lies in your ability to inspire and create change. Stay inspired, Aquarius, and trust in your ability to bring about change. That's all for Aquarius. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Now let's turn our cosmic compass towards Pisces, the 12th and final sign in the zodiac, known for its intuitive and empathetic nature. Pisces, your ruling planet Neptune, is making its transition into your sign this week, enhancing your intuition and paving the way for spiritual growth. Now, let's see what the tarot cards have in store for you. We have drawn the moon card. This card symbolizes intuition, dreams, and the subconscious, aligning perfectly with the influence of Neptune. It's a time to trust your gut feelings and pay attention to your dreams, Pisces. On the career front, Neptune and Pisces could open doorways to roles that require your empathy, creativity, and spiritual understanding. In matters of love, the moon card encourages you to trust your intuition. Remember, your empathetic nature is your strength, Pisces. Listen to your inner voice, keep faith in your dreams, and trust in your intuitive abilities. That's all for Pisces. Stay tuned for the next zodiac sign. Our journey through the cosmos and the tarot deck comes to an end for this week. We've navigated the celestial highways, observed the planetary movements, and deciphered the messages from the tarot. We've seen how the planet's positions influence our energy, our moods, and our paths. Remember, these horoscopes are here to guide you, to give you insight into the energies at play. But at the end of the day, you hold the power to shape your own destiny. From the ambitious Aries to the intuitive Pisces, each sign had its unique story told by the stars and the cards. We've seen the influence of Venus on Taurus, the impact of Mercury on Gemini, and the powerful sway of the moon over Cancer. From the fiery Leo to the earthy Virgo, the charming Libra to the passionate Scorpio, each week brings a new set of challenges and opportunities. And let's not forget our adventurous Sagittarius, disciplined Capricorn, innovative Aquarius, and empathetic Pisces. Take these insights, ponder on them, and use them as tools to navigate the week ahead. But don't forget, the stars incline, they do not bind. You have the power to shape your destiny, and these horoscopes are merely guides to help you along your journey. That's all for this week's horoscope. We hope you found these insights helpful and enlightening. Stay tuned for next week's horoscope where we'll once again journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of the tarot. Until then, may the stars guide your path.